Hey, what's up, everybody? Kellen here, broker owner, City of Shortport City Associates. So I get a lot of questions because I deal a lot in new construction. And I get a lot of questions about why spend the money for a new home. So I thought I'd put together a little bit of a comparison here just so you guys can kind of see kind of what I look at uh, from kind of a cost standpoint and what the differences are for new construction versus an existing home. So uh, I'm going to take uh, so my listing there, 7135 Sugar Maple. We're going to use that as kind of the subject property. Um, and then uh, this is a home that uh, um, I, I brought some buyers into uh, a few years ago. The home was built in 2001. So um, this is kind of a prime example of existing home versus new construction. So you look at 7135, and this is a brand new home. Everything in it is new. Appliances, windows, roof. Uh, flooring, everything in there is new. Right now we have it listed at 455. Um, your payment at 20% down is, is 2643. And keep in mind, this home um, would also qualify for the 2-1 interest rate buy down. So you get a 2% reduction on your interest rate in the first year and a 1% reduction the second year. So really changes the dynamic of that. I mean, that brings that payment down under $1,900 for that first year under that 2-1 um, that buy down. The benefit here is, is, is there's virtually no maintenance um, or worries, you know, especially through that first year, you get a uh, warranty through the builder. Um, so all of that stuff is essentially covered for that first year. So anything uh, miscellaneous stuff, the only thing that you need to do to it is, is kind of put your own, your own spin on it. You know, you want to put in your yard, things like that. Um, so there, there's really not much else that has to be done. There's not a, a ton of maintenance stuff that you have to worry about. So I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to switch gears to this home that was built in 2001. So this is a, a Hudsonville ranch, like I said, that I sold um, a few years back. Um, I brought the buyers to it. So it was a great house. Um, my clients are, are happy as can be in this house. Not, uh, not anything wrong with it at all, other than the fact that it's 22 years old. Um, I mean, this home would probably, I mean, if, you know, at a purchase price of, let's say, 375 um, something like that, you know, somewhere between 375 and 440. Obviously, we're not listing it, so um, kind of hard to tell. But there is a house right down the street from this um, that's a little bit smaller than that that just sold for 375. Um, so that's why we're using that number. So that was a three bedroom right down the street. So let's say you're looking and comparing, you know, existing homes. This is a three bedroom. You know, if you look at a three bedroom, 20 year old ranch in in Hudsonville, you're probably going to be 375 to 390, depending on the condition of the home, somewhere in there, just because it's not new. Your payment's 2245, so you're saving about 400 dollars a month on your payment. Um, but the biggest thing is is kind of where things are at. So everything in the house is 22 years old. Now, I know for a fact that this pitch, the whole home here has been remodeled top to bottom. Um, they've done all new appliances, all new flooring, refinished the cabinets and countertops. Um, they did all new carpet throughout the home. So they've done some pretty significant updates in here. So you look at this home where it's at, a little dated on the, the fit and finish of it. <clears throat> a lot of oak in that house. Um, you know, I know that they're keeping an eye on the roof. I mean, you're talking roof is probably minimum of $12,000, if not a touch more. Um, HVAC system is around $11,000. They did just put in a new furnace and AC in that house um, about a year ago. Um, so they, they had to update that. They had to update the water heater. Um, their HVAC guy that went out there actually made a comment about the water heater uh, because it was starting to corrode in a few spots. They were concerned about some leaking going on there. So the water heater was updated. Um, all the kitchen appliances have all been updated. Um, even this uh, fridge, I know that because the fridge that fridge died on them shortly after they moved in. So um, you've got kitchen appliances, washer and dryer. And then, like I said, they went through a major remodel. So maybe $40,000 between flooring, countertops, um, refinishing the cabinets, um, you know, repainting, all that good stuff. There's, there's probably quite a bit in there. You know, not to mention you start looking at the little things that maybe you don't think about. Um, like I know, for instance, one of the things from the inspection report on this home was um, there was a lot of concrete that wasn't level anymore. The slabs had shifted. So you're talking, you know, inch or two drops from one slab to another. So even if you go through and do the concrete raising, you're talking about biting off a couple thousand dollars to do that around the home, around the, um, around the grounds. And, you know, unless you're going to go take out a loan, which you can do that, you know, on like a home equity loan, 
um, things like that. But your interest rates, keep an eye on those because if you're going to start financing some of those repairs or financing it through the contractor that did it, like I know there's a lot of uh, roofing companies, HVAC companies that will finance um, that stuff for you. Keep in mind where that interest rate is. So, you know, interest rate here at, you know, in, in the low sixes as it sits right now on a 30 year, you can get into the fives on a 15 year. Um, those are all things that are financed into that. So all of this stuff is in this payment essentially on a new home. Whereas unless you're going to start financing it, you're looking at some of this stuff going out of pocket to do those repairs. So, um, and I'm not here to dog on existing homes. That's not what I'm, <clears throat> not what I'm doing, but um, in, in the realm that I work in within the new construction realm, um, these are just a lot of the questions that I get. And you're, they say, you know, hey, Kellen, I'm really debating. I don't know if I want to spend the extra money just to um, just to go get a new home. Um, and I say, let's talk about your goals. You know, do you have kids? Are you, um, you know, active in sports and things like that? Do you want to necessarily have to worry about all of this stuff um, and constant, you know, doing maintenance and upkeep and things like that? Um, when you've got other, you know, other life stuff going on all over the place. So it's, it's really a decision that has to be made by each individual party. But um, I wanted to do this video more as just a breakdown. So you guys can kind of understand um, kind of where some of the, the, the price premiums, they call it the new home premiums come from. Um, so, you know, that $400 a month, it takes a lot of the stress, a lot of the worry um, kind of out of, uh, um, out of the, out of it for you. Um, if you're not worried about that. Now, obviously somebody might be more interested in some sweat equity. Sure. Stuff like this might be a little bit more appealing. So, um, so just kind of keep that stuff in mind, but I wanted to share this breakdown here so you guys can kind of see, um, you know, what the differences are um, when you just look at kind of a, from a cost basis, um, you know, a, a, you know, 20 year old home versus a new home. So, you know, your roof is, is a probably a 30 year shingle on here probably got to start thinking about it. You're on your 22 on that original roof. HVAC system is usually 20 to 25 years. So hence the reason why that was just replaced. Water heater is 15 ish. Again, that's why they've replaced that one. Kitchen appliances, shoot, those things don't last any more than like seven years. I think is what the average is right now. Um, washer dryer, again, about the same way, you know, and after 20 to 25 years, you're getting to the point where now there's been a lot of changes and, and styling cues, materials, things like that. Um, this original wood floor in this home I know was was starting to get in pretty rough shape. Um, so even replacing that with more modern luxury vinyl plank. Um, there's just a lot, of, a lot of changes that can happen in the housing market, the housing industry, home construction industry over the course of 20 plus years. So um, just a lot of things to keep in mind. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to give me a shout. I'm more than happy to talk through it. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to push anybody into um, a new home, but just to kind of give you some of these differences, uh, I'm more than willing to help uh, anybody in, in what their goals are and what they want to do. And it just comes down to personal preference. Um, and honestly, who, you know, what their, what their goals are uh, and, and keeping budget in mind. So if you guys got questions, let me know. Happy to help. Have a great day.